The Father's plan of free will is for every individual soul to seek and uncover all the mysteries of life, but darkness is a part of creation. The Hermetic Law of Polarity states nothing can be created without both poles, positive and negative, active and passive, darkness and light. But some souls through free will adapt to the opposing consciousness. They are self-will as opposed to the divine will. Darkness created its own order within the chaos and they have applied their form of order within it. They pattern their dark order after the order of light and they have offices just the same. Because within their realms of darkness they also have to work within the framework of law and they will not break law but they will manipulate the unaware and the ignorant to do so. This is why in most esoteric knowledge it is commonly known the difference between Lucifer and Satan. Satan is the ideas created in the minds of men and women, which is in total contradiction of light. They have their dark tree which is rooted in the above and is pushed down to the orders and the servants below. Pista Sophia, when and how were these fallen powers created? Within this greater plan there is also free will to unravel the mysteries of life. Therefore, in addition to the manifestation of creation on multi-dimensional levels, there is also the manifestation of a consciousness which emanated from the divine but which separated in its own unique strata of consciousness, taking on personality and absorbing power. Although patterned after the divine, these consciousness entities in some instances of their own free will began to manifest their own self-organization. The fallen created their own pyramid of darkness and they designed it after the pyramid of light. On the apex of the pyramid of darkness, you have the dragon, Dagon, Behemoth, Draco, Serpent, Leviathan, Reptilian, Lucifer, the Devil. Many different names varying by tradition and the physical appearance or manifestation of the vessel that brings forth that opposing energy to this realm. This apex or group is opposed to the apex or the pyramid of light. And who sits on this apex of light? None but the Father, the Most High, Elohim, yod He, vahu He, Elah, which is spelled E-L-I, but pronounced in Hebrew, Elah. Then on the right hand of evil, which is the will, we have Azazel, their disciples, the fallen angels, the watchers, who were once of light but strayed into darkness. They are called the Nephilim, or the giants, or the fallen, Benai Elohim. They are opposed to the right hand of light, which is the Son, who is the will, Melchizedek, Thoth, the Lord, Yohewa, or Jehovah. And the left hand of darkness, which is created to do the will, is the priest of Mahan, the hybrids, the Philistines, the papacy, the Pope, Jezebel, Satan, demon, and the elementals. They all do the work of the higher order down here on the third dimension. All their creations are brought forth through what is called Old Earth, the world leaders, big corporations or Goliath, organized religion, and no religion is exempt. They all report to the priests of Mahan and the Pope. Yes, even the leaders of Islam, everyone in this realm reports to the Pope. Nahum 1 verse 11, there is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Nahum 1 and 13, for now I will break his yoke off thee, and I will burst thy bonds in sunder. This evil is opposed to the feminine aspect of the pyramid of light, the Holy Spirit, coming via the avatar, the Son of Man, the Messiah, Lewis, Elijah, David, Emmanuel, etc. All different names of the man that is to come as the physical embodiment or manifestation of divine light or Christ consciousness. The Dark Order is only permitted to rule for 6,480 years during the time of Taurus, Aries, and Pisces as they are given a chance to run their program and test the souls of the children of men. This is a school, a testing ground. Throughout that time, the fallen above and their order below work to keep the yoke of bondage on you and your seed is always eaten in the lower kingdom, referred to as eaten by locusts in the scriptures. Joel 2 and 25 and I will restore you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Nahum 1 and 13. For now I will break his yoke from off thee, and I will burst thy bonds asunder. To combat the bondage or the yoke, you were given the fast. Apocalypse of Elijah, the benefits of the fast. 
Remember that from the time when he created the heavens, the Lord created the fast for the benefit of men on account of the passions and desires which fight against you so that the evil will not inflame you. But it is a pure fast which I have created, said the Lord. The one who fasts continually will not sin. Meaning the fast is continual. That is the goal, to return to the continual fast. Not seven days, not 40 days, but continual. Eat fruits vegetables continually stop consuming alcohol forever refrain from abusing sex and stop living in the lower emotion anger hate and jealousy etc but a pure fast is what i have created with pure heart and pure hands it releases sin it heals diseases it casts out demons it is effective up to the throne of god for an ointment and for the release from sin by the means of pure prayer isaiah 58 and 6 is this not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke?